Good morning, folks. Most significant quake of yesterday was early enough to make the news. Remember, it hit 6.9, 6.5, 6.5. Well, the day finished by rumbling along the Indian Ridge, starting south of Australia, moving north with the fault, back down under Africa to the South Sandwich Islands. Super Typhoon Bofa lost the super designation, but that happens when a massive storm makes landfall. All we can do now is pray nobody gets hurt. Europe. The eastern low is pulling north, while the western low pulls in from the North Atlantic. That's creating a convergence of three air masses of different potentials and precipitation is expected over most of the continent next 24 hours. Looks like eastern Australia is having or just had some bad thunderstorms. The way this low pressure just juts right up here is a sign that the southern coastal areas may cool off briefly the next few days. America Central thunderstorms in the south, and as I've mentioned before, the majority of the northern bit of South America sees regular thunderstorms this time of year. Same with the southern portion of Africa, pretty much like clockwork. Eastern world, here are today's high temperatures and your expected precipitation zones. A lot of rain records set in the U.S. right now. The same storm is dropping a ton of it over a very large area. Meanwhile, the leading edge continues to shatter historic daily high temperatures, ripping air from the south. I was just chilling outside yesterday in khakis and a polo. But in all seriousness, there are many watches across the states today, and based on the backside of this system, we could see this pattern continue for a bit longer. This is the death of an active region. Once rectangular and magnetically dangerous, the decay is nearly complete just as Earth's magnetic connections to the sun, while still primarily on the south and wrapped around back, is beginning to snag the Earth-facing sunspot, so frankly not a terrible time for the sun to cool off from that M-flare fest it put on last week. Solar wind is fairly steady as well, still inducing multiple frequencies. Here are the next planetary positions. We are coming out of the Jupiter-Sun lineup today. See my past videos for the orbital diagrams. No Earth-facing eruptions, no coronal holes. Dare I say, it will be a nice, calm solar day if those southern filaments stay in their seat. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.12 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.